I don't know about you, but I'm quite affected by Uranus going into retrograde as it has on the 3rd of uh, August. And um, we're kicking off this week on the 7th, which is the Monday, and we will have a full moon and a partial uh, lunar eclipse. So there's loads of energies going on. With Uranus going to retrograde, what is important about this uh, is to remember that it can bring up loads of anxieties and it can make people uh, argumentative because you really don't have the bigger picture with all these uh, planets that are already uh, or still in retrograde. And before the week is out, uh, Mercury is going into retrograde as well. So um, we have to basically see how this week turns out. The other important thing to remember is about Uranus. It is actually related to your uh, sacral chakra, which is the rise and the fall. Um, of renewal and survival as well. So um, fears can come up, quite a, quite a bit of worry can come up um, and because things are slowing down um, try to avoid making major decisions um, but um, I know it sounds like impending doom or something <laughs> might not be at all. Let's have a look at what the cards say about this week. So let's have a look at the overall energy before we go into the individual star signs. I'm drawn to this deck. This one. Pretty new, a little bit difficult to shuffle. I'm drawn to two cards. Make that three. <laughs> right. So it's not as bad as it, as it feels. Um, important to remember this week is that you have to be at your softest. Simply because, as I mentioned earlier, um, people can be very um, argumentative, a lot of anxieties come up. So if you are at your softest, if you try to be at your softest, um, you will probably um, avoid major catastrophes, if that, if that makes sense. And also, um, the... Um, uh, Uranus uh, idles on 207 hertz, 2 and 7 is 9, 9 is the number of completion, but it also pitches on the 39th octave, and 9 and 3 is 12, which is the number of progression. So things really do slow down with Uranus being in, in retrograde, um, and um, they might slow down uh, more than you think, and what that really means is that communication slows down or could slow down dramatically. So it's really, really important this, this week um, to, um, like I said, be at your softest uh, um, and have love as your, highest, as your highest goal. And the other thing that is important, because things slow down, come out of your shell. Try to be forthcoming because you need to, you need to be in your strengths, if that makes sense, right? Um, but not intimidating. But, but if you're hiding, that's the worst thing you could be doing, right? So speak your truth, but speak it, speak it um, with um, with compassion, right? And now we go into the um, star signs, starting starting with Leo. Right. Interesting. Uh, because I, I, I drew two canines, you have the dog and the coyote. So um, energies for the Leo people are um, very close together, uh, which means the week could be a bit challenging. What is important to remember this week is to be loyal to yourself. It's really important to uh, stick to your guns. Um, if you are convinced that this is the right way, that, you, that what you're doing is, is the right way and, and it doesn't harm anyone, then, then say that. And don't be intimidated, remember, it comes up already, <laughs> don't be intimidated by anybody because the coyote is a scavenger and he knows that he doesn't usually have to hunt, there's always enough to go around for him. So, um, so when people threaten you, you know, with, with anything that, that could have uh, financial issues, uh, very likely they're going to be bluffing. Um, and also, just don't worry about it because intimidation is what people do um, at, at the moment. Um, so be... Be, just remember that loyalty starts with you. Be loyal to, to how you feel. And, um, and again, be kind. It's really, really important. Right? So that's the Leo people going into Virgo.
for the work of people this week it's important you actually can take risks this week um, you know and and, and um, be adventurous it's a good week to be adventurous um, and also um, be vigilant because you will see things coming this week it's quite important to be vigilant also pay attention to what's going on around you um, which is really really important and uh, read between the lines that's quite important too right so that's the Virgo people going into Libra Again, here we have um, the possibility to be to um, understand that we don't quite know how deep the rabbit hole goes. So um, you know, things are not over by by any set of the imagination. So uh, keep going with what you what you're doing, right? And and don't give up. So that's the other message here: do not give up. You have to also watch um, because there's the polar bear, which is the bear that loses loads of space at the, at the moment. So the analogy is that, that even though um, you are a, a powerful human being, so to speak, um, you are losing a little bit of ground here uh, this week. And so remember, um, if you lose a little bit of ground, uh, don't panic at all, because the path that you're on will continue. Right? Okie dokie. Then we're going into Scorpio. And this is the week for the Scorpio people um, to really be truthful to your convictions. And if people talk to you about stuff, um, you know, um, I don't know, one of those things, they just say they talk to you about stuff you really don't want to talk about. Or, or you think like, well, there's no point setting them straight. This week, set them straight. You know, really it's important to, to, to speak your truth this week and, and remember uh, when you are convinced about about things, then stay convinced, right? You can notice already that there seems to be a pattern here about how you talk this week and how you stand your ground. So we will have to see with the other star signs if this um, continues, which could also well be an overall energy thing then, right? And now we're going into Sagittarius. Okay. For the Sagittarius people, it's, it's important to rely on your friends this, people, this week and people that you trust. Um, in other words, don't go things alone, right? Don't do anything um, on your own as such this week. Don't, don't, don't go, you know, make it or break it. Don't, don't burn any bridges. This is a week um, where you draw your strengths from the people that are close to you, be they family or friends. Um, so that's important for, for this week to remember that. Don't go it alone, uh, which also means don't fall out with people. So that could mean that your week is going to be challenging. Um, but just remember it. Keep the peace, right? You can keep the peace and still speak your truth. It's all in, in how you voice yourself. So that's really important. And the doggy is here. I have to feed him first. Just stop this for a second. Continuing now with Capricorn. I was drawn to another deck, actually. So let's see what we got for the Capricorn people. Capricorns, it's going to be a very emotional week for you with, um, with loads of tears probably, or at least with, um, with a chance to actually release some of the sorrow as well. So it's quite important to let that out. Um, and at the moment you're actually quite protected. So it is, it is important this week to not hide, let this out, allow yourself to be, to be emotional. Right? So that's, that's the important thing for Capricorns. Moving on to Aquarius. For Aquarius, it's important to remember this week that um, you have accu accumulated quite a little bit of, of um, um, knowledge over the years, and, and this week it will come to fruition. So remember that when people, um, you know, talk down on you and, and, and the likes, um, don't let them win. 
just remember who you are this week. It's really, really important not to be treated as a, as a second hand or second, second class person at all. So remember yourself first this week, which is really, really important. And now for the favorite part, going into Pisces, being a Pisces myself, I always lost that part. Let's see what we got. Right, so uh, us Pisces and you Pisces out there, it's important this week to, um, to, to be brave and to not live in fear. It's really, really important that this week um, don't allow yourself to be scared by anything, right? You, you know, just trust, you're, 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 you're intelligent, you see through things, right? Even though, like I said, we don't have the bigger picture at, 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 at this point in time. Um, don't be, don't make decisions based on worries. It's really, really important. And also, this week you can take some risks because when once you eliminate fear from your thinking, um, you will become a little more, a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I can, I can go for this. So that's really important for you to remember that. Right? And for myself, obviously, Pisces, going into Aries. So Aries, it's important to remember this week, like I said earlier in another star sign, um, it's important this week to remember that you have and can rely on friends and people that, that, that you know well. So if you are going through something, that would be a really good week to talk uh, uh, about it with someone. Um, it oftentimes makes sense if it is not um, the closest of friends, if that makes sense, because sometimes you know, no matter what you do, um, they always like you, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but if there's anything to talk about, right, Talk, talk about it to someone that, that you trust. Really, really important this week uh, to remember that there are people in your life. And, uh, and I say that a lot to people that say to me, um, you know, I don't have any friends. Um, they, are, they are great groups uh, uh, on, on Facebook um, that, that you can join, you know. I just mentioned a few now, you know, it could be the shamanic community or light workers of the world or, or any of these spiritual groups. Um, and th these are all people that you will never meet in your life. So, you know, maybe post a question there and see what comes back from people who have no connection to you other than their way of, of, of tuning into you. It's not all lost, even when you feel lost at times. There's always something listening. And, um, you know, so let's, let's, let's use that Facebook thing, for instance. Uh, you know, um, it's, not, it's not all bad at all. Taurus. So Taurus people this week could be quite affected. And, um, and what that means is it could be quite a difficult week and you could be uh, in a position where you feel you really want to step back from it all. Um, uh, but you really can't because when you when you don't speak the truth this week when you don't say what's on your mind um, you could make situations uh, worse or you could allow themselves uh, you know to give to give power to ego driven people this week it's really really important it's going to be likely uh, very difficult for you this week to really find the strength to to want to say you know and, and want to be you know, argumentative and, 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 and forthcoming but remember not a good way to be, to be argumentative at all, if that makes sense. Uh, but remember, hiding as such or um, stepping back um, is not a good option. Um, and, and you really you know, shouldn't, shouldn't do it at all. Right? And now we go to Gemini. For the Gemini, it's important this week, no matter what happens in your neck of the wood and what happens with you in, in your life, um, be lighthearted and, and bring humor into a situation. It's really important for you to have um, a twinkle in the eye this week. You know, um, Even if things are difficult, always try to see it from a higher point of view and go like, yeah, you know, we, can, we can figure something out here. 
really, really important not to let people get to you with um, a lot of stress or negativity or um, demands. Really, really important. And also remember, if the week is difficult or turns out to be difficult, you know, this week you're going through it. You know, there's no, no other way you will have to go through it. And you will. It's just, it's just a transform transformative week, so to speak, energetically. Um, like I said, with Mercury going into, into retrograde as well before the week is out. Um, so just remember this, it won't last forever, this sort of feeling of, well, it's all a bit difficult, right? So that's that. And then lastly, we have Cancer. So let's see what the Cancerians have to look out for. So for the Cancerian, it's, it's important this week to um, reinforce your boundaries, especially with people um, and situations from the past. It's really important when things come up um, that you have to go through that are related to your past. Um, and I just make it up as a picture, you know, you're going through a divorce or, you know, or you have arguments with people that you've known for a long time, that, that, kind, of, that kind of thing. Um, this week, have boundaries. It's important to have boundaries this week. Don't let them overstep their mark and, and invade your, your personal space. Um, that's really, really important. So in many cases this week, what, we, what, we, what we've seen is that um, it's not all sunshine and roses. <laughs> so um, um, a, lot of the, a lot of the week tends to be or could be a, a bit heavy, right? But um, again, there was nothing here to suggest that it's, it's the end of the world either. And that's all we have for this week. See you next time.